Hey, what's going on? This is Eric Cortina, Texas Barn Aluminiums. Today I'm going to show you what it takes to do a pre pour inspection. So, this right here is the air conditioner pad. I hope it holds up. <laughs> As you can see, right inside the, the uh, AC pad is a big pier. Everywhere we have a, uh, an anchor plate, we have one of these big piers. We have one here one here at every corner so everywhere there's a plate we have a big pier we also have support beams on the interior as you can tell the mat rebar is number three is so at 12 inches spacing so in the beams we have three quarter inch rebar which is number six rebar top and bottom and uh, stirrups are 21 inches. These are number three stirrups. The beams are 12 by 24 interior beams. The perimeter beams are 12 by 30. That means they're a foot wide, 30 inches deep. The beam spacing is about 13 or 15 feet, as you can tell. The uh, concrete thickness is four inches on this one. And uh, we're gonna pour 3,000 straight sack because it's gonna be stained. You don't want fly ash if you're going to stain it. The interior support beams is really what gives you the strength and that's why you need a lot of them. So for moisture barrier we're using 6 mil poly. That's going to give us the uh, moisture protection that we need for the foundation. Let me show you what this barn aluminum is going to look like. Kind of give you an idea. This everything inside the headers, so everything in here is the living area, living quarters. Uh, these right here are the headers, these forms right here. The headers are forms that are inside the main forms. The reason we have headers is because this level right here, the foundation, is going to be higher than this foundation. This one's going to be inch and a half higher than this one. And this one, because it's an outdoor porch, it's going to slope away from the uh, living quarters. So, I don't know if you can see the slope. You should be able to see it slope away. This one here is level. This one slopes away. We uh, then have a sidewalk that goes from the uh, carport, which is where I'm standing. This is the carport. You're gonna be able to go right over to the uh, front porch. So that way, when you park here, you're gonna be able to walk right over from the sidewalk, go over to the front porch. Uh, the carport here, also slopes away from the house and it's also going to have an inch and a half drop right there where that header is so you see the sawdust right there inspector will not pass the inspection if we have sawdust or any kind of trash on the foundation so i'm going to get these guys to clean it up right quick also pick up any paper any bottles in the beams this thing needs to be ready to go clean the reason we can't have anything in the beams trash or anything it, it can create voids air pockets and obviously that's not a good thing so that's another thing the uh, inspector is going to be checking for so we're waiting for the inspector that should be here in about 30 minutes the next thing is the plumbers they're going to be here tomorrow and the electricians we still need to run all over water lines or all, all over supply lines so everything you see here is drain lines once the uh, plumbers run all their lines and the uh, electricians. The electricians, they need, they need to stub up any floor plugs or any uh, conduit for, for example, if you have power in an island or something, we need to run a conduit so we can fish a wire through there. They will do that tomorrow. And then the day after we pour concrete. So everywhere you see an anchor plate, we're gonna have a support column for our metal building. And right under there, we have a big pier with uh, a lot more rebar. So as you can see, we're gonna have one there. We have one there. We have another there. One more and then the one in the corner. The spacing between these two plates is 10 feet. The next two is 12. The next two is 15 feet. And the last one I believe is 10 feet. We try to keep our base spacing around 15 feet. Sometimes we go a foot over or so, which is okay. But we try to keep them pretty, pretty short. 
because again this is a barn aluminium so we want them to be as strong as possible uh, typical base spacing on a metal building is 20 feet it's okay for a metal building but we don't feel it's okay for a barn aluminium so that's what we do yeah that's for the uh, AC pad yeah so we added that as well <coughs> So you need to make notes of everything we added? Mm -hmm. For what purpose? So we can have it all the way it actually looks at. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's fine. Just, yeah. Just if there's any problem or anything, we know what changes y'all made to it. Okay, perfect. And then that bracket's gonna go. Yeah, it's gonna go right here. Right where that pier is. Yeah. Where this, correct, right, right there. there. Right where the orange mark is on the string line. Okay. All right, so can you give me a real quick summary of what you're actually doing? <laughs> I mean, I know what you're doing, but this is for our viewers. Just impromptu <laughs> little interview. It's all right, it's all right, it's all good. Um, what am I gonna tell you? Just okay. tell me what you're doing. What is a pre-port inspection? Why are you here today? All right. Ready? Yeah. So it's just, um, so you can check, verify everything's done according to our plan. You make sure that we have the proper beam spacing, the beam dimensions, rebar dimensions, uh, concrete thickness. Pretty much you have to make sure that we did exactly as you guys told us to do. Right, because if you guys design a foundation and we don't follow the design, in reality, what, what was the point, correct? So you just here as a third party to verify that even though we hired you, <laughs> that, that we give our customer what they are paying for. Making sure this, this the concrete's gonna stay the way it is, it's not gonna crack and things like that. Correct. So, uh, basically that's pretty much what we're checking. Good. This is a metal building so it's a little more steel to it. You yeah. To make sure everything's there and Yeah, well it's a barn aluminium. It's a it's a metal building home is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Alright well we appreciate it. So All we right. passed. Thank you. Yay yes. <laughs> we're good to pour. All right. Alrighty, take care. Drive safe. It's a it's a pretty straightforward inspection but uh you know if you did the work correctly they'll pass you and you're good to pour if you didn't they're gonna fail you and there's fees attached to that because you know they have to come and do another inspection and if you had all your concrete and everything lined up finishers then uh, that just means you have to reschedule everything and uh, it's not a good thing so anyway Make sure you always pass your pre-port inspection. If you're having a contractor do this for you, make sure they provide proof that they passed the inspection. Because if they don't, it's it's useless to have uh, an engineered foundation. Because without inspection, it's not it's not completed yet. So make sure they provide proof. Once you have proof, then all is good. All right. Well, there you have it. We passed the inspection. Here is the. Uh, the signed form that says we're okay to pour so now we need to schedule the uh, plumber so they can run their water lines the electrician so they can run their uh, floor plugs and their conduit and uh, they also need to ground the foundation uh, we need to schedule the pump and uh, we're gonna pour this thing all right see you next week we are Texas Barnuminiums. Mm -hmm.